Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys. Doing our TCG ticker requests. These are tickers that members of our community vote on. So we're going to check out three of these names today. And we're looking at Tesla AYX and TDOC. Tesla, we've covered a lot, and it's a lot of fun. So we're just going to keep doing it. Not much has changed. You know, you look at the daily time frame following this big breakout that we had with those beautiful bull flags. We've been watching for the same thing, which is the loss of the hourly uptrend. And that just hasn't happened yet. Every time we set a nice hourly level, we just continue to move past it. So we can just keep marking these out. Hourly higher lows, hourly support levels, and another hourly higher low. You get the idea. And then up here, this one gets a little confusing. So the question is, why isn't this the hourly higher low? And why are you going to be marking on the next little green here? The reason I'm choosing that is because we had that low and then we had multiple periods of indecision. We had a doji, we had a small spinning top, we had a large leg spinning top, we had a small body, and we had a dip, and we didn't get really any confirmation after that low. So that tells me that the low is not set quite yet. We need to move away in order to lock in. That's basically how I look at it. So in this case, we moved away and now we're locking in. So we've got another hourly higher low. We may be able to look at that level. And then now we have a little bit of a bull flag type situation. So we're going to keep watching these hourly higher lows until something gives up. Once that gives up, then we're going to start look for, looking for more consolidation. We need to consolidate on the daily time frame. We need to consolidate on the four hour. Our last four hour period of consolidation was down here between 626, 64, 15, 94, We're waiting for something to happen. On the daily time frame, we got blue sky breakouts and good volume. Like this is... This is uh, pretty much the best case scenario for the bulls right now, and they are in complete control. So if you are looking to pick up nickels in front of a steamroller, by all means, go ahead and short this guy. But I would not be even thinking about that until we lose this hourly trend, and it is just not stopping yet. So good luck, bulls. AYX, let's turn this crazy number sequence off. Uh, we're looking at AYX on the daily time frame. Never looked at this one before. What we're seeing is a big drop, and now we're starting to see a bounce. Oh, we get oversold in the daily time frame. We sure did. We're just starting to recover. No real uh, divergence on the RSI in the daily. Everything is behaving as it should. So what we're going to do is looking. We're going to look for some major trend changes, and I see that we have an important level here on the daily time frame, one sixteen twenty. We have ourselves a nice hourly trend here with higher lows, higher highs coming up against that key level of resistance. If bulls can get over top of that, they're going to be well positioned for the development of a longer term four hour trend. And uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, a new daily uptrend to follow. This is not quite bear flag material yet. I'd like to see bulls over 116.20. And then I would look for a daily higher low over the ultimate low of 106.51. So if you're looking for a short-term trade, you're gonna to wanna to wait till you're over top of that 16, 116.20. TDOC, somewhat similar story where we've got this big move to the downside. We hung around here for a bit and now we're making moves back to the upside. So if we're gonna look at the weekly time frame, we've just established a weekly higher low. And currently if we close this week, remember this is only one day's worth of trading action. This is just daily candlestick showed, showing up beside all of these weeklies. If we closed here, that would lock in a weekly higher low, but we've got a lot of work to do. We're, testing our EMA 12, which has been a consistent uh, support historically. And we can see that active resistance here. So that may come into uh, resistance territory again. Even if we manage to break that based on the spread from the high to the low, we are only expecting a lower high under 252.95 at this point before we start to see some consolidation on the daily time frame. So short term bulls. Yes, we have control. We can go to the hourly time frame, start to look for consolidation. We're overbought. So we'll go right to the 15 and we're going to start to watch for the loss of higher lows. Right now, I would wait to see us lose 204.72. Do that. Then consolidation on the hourly time frame would be underway and we'd still just be looking for a higher low. First, we look to our EMA 26, EMA 12, one of those regions for a possible reversal and continuation on the hourly to continue our four hour, possibly setting a four hour higher low as well. Uh, ultimately, just locking in this four hour trend, heading toward a lower high under 252.95. That's it. Out of words today. Tell you what, I'm going to do um, some ticker requests for our YouTube guys as well. Throw, throw up a couple of requests. I'll add them in tomorrow.